Can you be fat and happy? Well, stay tuned because in this video, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And in this video, I really wanted to discuss more of our value systems, which I've mentioned in some other videos, but in this particular video, I wanna talk about where we're at as a society and our focus on mental health versus physical health, okay? This is a very, very, very important video, and I can't stress that enough, so please, Please do me a favor, share this video. Watch the video, if you get something from it or you think this is a message that somebody needs to hear, please make sure you go out and share this video, okay? Let's get started. All right, as always, I put a big fat disclaimer right here. So the disclaimer for this video is, before I have like a bunch of like Nicole Arbors coming out, like trying to come over here and tell me about my unhealthy weight and say stuff like this. Fat shaming, if we offend you so much, that you lose weight, lose, lose weight, I'm okay with that. You are killing yourself. Like, I just wanna let you know, like, I'm not ignorant, I'm not dumb, I understand I am at an unhealthy weight, I understand that being obese is not healthy, I get that, okay? So, as a father and a boyfriend and a son and a friend and somebody that people rely on, yes, my health is something that I'm working on and I have made some changes, which I struggle with, and maybe I'll do a more dedicated video on this, but just for example, steps that I've personally taken um, the last six months I've been vegetarian, um, I've started to try yoga, um, I'm bad about going to the gym, I need to get my butt back there, but yes, physical health is definitely something that's on my mind. Um, I have that issue where I've put my mental health so far past my physical health that this is not under control or where I need it to be at. But I just wanna put that disclaimer like, I'm not delusional to the fact that physical health is important, all right? So now let's talk about the real issues. So something that I mentioned in the video I will link above um, when I discussed uh, Lost Connections, the book about depression and the experiment I did, something that, that keeps coming up, it keeps coming up because I think it's the most important thing, is our screwed up value system. And it's something that society has impressed upon us, okay? so. Throughout our lives, we're always being told, you know, that we need to look a certain way, we need to dress a certain way, and all these different physical things. And when that is in bed in your head, we start to look at our pri prioritization and we start to put, you know, our looks, our physical uh, attributes, and all these things at the very top of the list. And, you know, unfortunately, that's why many people who are overweight or don't look the way they think they should, unfortunately, that's why they get quite depressed. And I'm gonna touch on that in the second half of this video. But I really wanted to focus on this value system of thinking that, you know, being a certain weight, having certain physical attributes like big biceps or like thick legs or like a nice butt, you know, things like that. I wanna discuss how these are sometimes the wrong thing that we're chasing when it comes to our values. Like the reason why this is something that I feel like I need to address is because of this. And I hate to be so blunt about it, but it's just to give you some perspective and let you understand the depth and weight of what I'm talking about. There are plenty of people who commit suicide each and every year who have a six pack. Like, think about that for a second. And like, I just wanna put it in perspective for you. Like, um, I've done other videos about, you know, success and happiness and, you know, which one comes first. And the reality is, is that losing a certain amount of weight, having, um, you know, different physical appearances and all these things, there is absolutely nothing guaranteed about your mental health when it comes with that. So like, um, I, I'll do more videos on like, it's the same thing with like money, right? Like there's this idea that we've been led to believe that if you make a certain amount of money, then you'll be happy. And we all know that's not true. Like when the lead singer of Linkin Park committed suicide, money, fame, family, people loved him, you know what I mean? Like we have to really start stepping back and checking in with our value systems. And something for anybody out there who is in shape, I really want you to pay attention to this video as well because we need to start focusing on our mental health more as a society. And like, don't get me wrong, don't get it twisted. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being in shape. Nothing wrong with it. Like, we, we should all be in shape. We all need to take care of our bodies. We need to take care of our minds, our bodies, our spirit, 
all that stuff. The problem comes from thinking that this certain body is going to make you happy. So one of the reasons why this is an issue is typically because of the ideas that we have embedded into our brains about what comes along with looking a certain way, right? Like, for example, I'm going to attract better partners, you know, better looking women or better looking men, whatever your thing is. We get that idea that this is what we're going to get. Maybe the idea is that if we look a certain way, we're gonna get more respect from people, right? In some cases, we may think that looking, looking a certain way is going to help us get the job that we want, right? So, at the end of the day, when we talk about success versus happiness, even with those things, there's not guaranteed happiness. Let's use a prime example, and one that hits home close to me. The idea that by looking a certain way, you're going to attract the person who is going to make you happy is not necessarily true. For example, I have a friend right now, this dude is a health nut. Dude is eating healthy, hits the gym, really focused on his body, but he's not focused on his mind. And he is currently in one of the most emotionally abusive relationships I've ever seen. His girlfriend is constantly beating him down over and over and over again, all with her words, you know what I'm saying? So like, all of the hard work that he's done on his body has attracted somebody who is emotionally abusive. So where's the happiness in that? And you know, he keeps going to the gym, he keeps working on his health. Now he's keeping this, um, this figure, you know, right? That attracted his girlfriend, but he's not happy. You see what I'm saying? Like, I hope you're following me on this. So just keep in mind, like anybody out there who is overweight, like, I don't want you to get into a situation where you think by losing all this weight, you're gonna be happy. Um, I know a lot of people who have gotten gastric bypass and things like that, and don't get me wrong, a lot of them are for health reasons, but there are a lot of people who do it and think, if I could only lose this weight, then I'd be happy, right? But then they go through all that trouble and then they realize that they're still not happy, you know? And we're constantly seeking the next thing that will fill that void that's always inside of us. Like, is it possible to be fat and happy? Like, I like to think that I'm a real good example of that, you know what I mean? I am happy more often than I'm not. And it's because I've gotten my priorities straight. Like my weight, a lot of this weight was put on during my drug and alcohol addiction, like about 200 pounds of it was put on and it's been a battle to take it off. But I'm almost grateful that I've, I've had the weight issues, you know, over these years because it's helped me really learn how to love myself without having to have a six pack and big buff arms and stuff. These are kind of buff though. You see those? Can you, here, zoom in on that, all right? But you know what I mean? Like I've learned to love myself and be okay and I've learned that other people can love me too even though I look this way. And the main reason is and why I make this channel and make so many videos, so many videos, is because I want you all to learn that despite your circumstances, you can be happy. So. For any of you watching this, if you're overweight, like I, my goal with saying this thing is to give you hope. I want you to know that it's possible to be overweight and be happy once you get this thing right. Again, again, physical health is extremely important because just like I said, there's a lot of people with six packs who commit suicide. Like there's a lot of people with great mental health who die from diabetes and heart attacks. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I will make a more dedicated video on um, maybe like just the, the struggles I've had with my weight and all the things I've tried and you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, if you would like me to do that, leave a comment down below. But anyways, I'm gonna do a lot more videos on this just about our value systems because I just want you to sit back and start thinking. I just want to get your wheels turning and have you just start thinking like, why am I constantly seeking the next thing and how do I know that that is going to make me happy? You know what I'm saying? So like once we get our values in check, we're, we're more likely to have, you know, this kind of uh, equilibrium of happiness and not all these ups and downs, all right? But 
Anyways, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you found that this video was beneficial, if you think it would help somebody that you know, please go share it. Share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you got going on, Reddit. I don't know what you kids are up to these days. Share with some people and help other people start working on their mental health and being a lot happier, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I make a ton of videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that subscribe button and if you like check out some of the videos by clicking or tapping right there okay so do me a favor stay kind to each other love each other show some love all right but i'm out and i'll see you next time